All right, so uh, what we've got here is we're looking at the Forager, the Oryx, and the Explorer 42. So these are the three tandem boats in Alpaca's lineup. Um, and we get a lot of questions from people who are like, we want to paddle with two people, but we're trying to figure out which boat is best. There are some sizable differences, but I'll talk about some of the comparisons as well. So we've got cargo flies on all three of these models so that you can store gear inside and repair them from the inside and the outside, that type of thing. The forager is gonna be your only self bailing option. So if you're paddling big white water or you're in and out of that boat all the time with wet feet or with dogs and stuff, that can be ideal in, in the forager because it just drains right out the bottom. However, it's a little wider, a little beefier and not quite as long as the Oryx, so it doesn't track as well on flat water. So those auto bailing holes are gonna catch the water a little bit. Um, and you can run some strips of tape underneath that kind of dilute the, or, or sorry, um, change the resistance in the water. Makes it a lot nicer for flat water, but it's still not the same as the Oryx. The other difference is suspended on that front seat, which looks very similar to how this front seat is suspended, is how the front person's gonna sit. The difference being this one has that self bailing floor. So it has that inflatable floor meaning this person's gonna sit sort of on that front seat with their legs out in front of them. Instead of in the Oryx, they're gonna sit more canoe style with their knees bent straight down inside of the boat. Both of these ideally are paddled with a canoe style paddle when solo. This boat's not quite as stable, not quite as easy to carry gear in, but it is the flat water boat of choice as basically your inflatable canoe, for lack of a better term, whereas this is a two person raft um, that handles big white water and is just super versatile and really durable. The Explorer 42 was the first tandem boat in the line and it was a resounding success. Everyone loved it with the exception of the fact that you sit a little bit too low to paddle like a canoe, but yet you sit a little too close to paddle with two people kayaking because you will feel like you're hitting that person in front of you. So they've changed their marketing and it's certainly our uh, experience as well at Mount Waddington's that this boat is best as a one person boat with a kid or a dog or a very small front person, or you're only using a front person to get across a lake or a river on an expedition or a trip or something. But for extended paddling, these are really your only two real tandem options. And this one here, you can use with two people. I'll, I'll sit in each of them, I'm 5'10". Um, I'll sit in each of them just to kind of show you how, uh, how that comparison works. So inside of the Explorer 42, you have an inflatable seat that sits right on the floor and it has gaps on the side so that the person sitting in the back can get right down inside. So you sit like this, the front person, you can install an aftermarket back band so that they're leaning against it. But basically you can see here that I'm gonna have to adjust my paddle stroke and be a little bit closer if I'm paddling kayak style um, to my chest so that I don't hit that front person. That's this boat here. In the Oryx, much more comfortable sit position, way up tall here. My knees are on a right angle, you can kind of see that here. And, uh, and this is gonna be a paddle stroke. So this is your all day paddling. I'm way the person in front of me. I've got lots of clearance if I'm paddling like a canoe style. Um, and this person here is sitting on these inflated seats. I didn't strap it in. It does tie in for that reason, just to show you. These are inflated blocks that really give you that lift and the front person can sit how they need to and paddle as well. Whereas over here in the Forager, you sit up on the stern like this. So whereas the Oryx has the seat in front of the stern, on this one, the back person sits on the stern, the front person sits on that seat, which artificially gives you more room inside the boat. So as, as I'm paddling tandem, I'm now way in front of that person's back. I could probably barely touch that secondary person, meaning you're gonna have room for gear and duffel bags and all this kind of stuff on bigger trips. So those are the three tandem models and there's pros and cons to each of them. Um, yeah, and we're happy to walk you through any other details you're looking for.